So ihr Lieben, wie versprochen, heute auf unserer Couch Frau Sue Richter, wir nennen sie Sue. Ähm, ich würde sagen, wir switchen mal auf Englisch und dann können wir auch direkt anfangen. Hello Sue, good to see Hi, you. Hi Dennis. First of all, thank you very much for taking the time to do this interview with us and welcome in our little interview space here. Would you like to introduce yourself to our many viewers out there? Sure. Yeah, my name is Sue, Sue Richter, and um, yeah, I, I'm from Manchester originally. I know that you all know that. <laughs> uh, home of football, you already know that as well, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, you might not know that Karl Marx based the Communist Manifesto on his works in Manchester. That's just a fun fact. And I've been lecturing and teaching now i'm in my 40th year so i've got a bit of experience that's quite a long time that's and that time. answers my next question already very quickly though it was it was it does go very quickly uh but what brought you here in the first place oh actually not a cardiff it was my husband who brought you to germany yeah yeah we spent a long time deciding where we were going to to live whether it was going to be britain or germany in the end we decided for bad homburg and i'm very happy with the decision and i hope my husband is as well <laughs> i do think so i do <laughs> think so but coming back to your cardis and lecturing at a cardis uh in your opinion in your opinion what makes a cardis special what do you think well I think maybe the number one thing for me is that it is extremely individual. And by that, I mean it's, it's very human. There's always somebody to talk to. There's always somebody who can help you. There's a bit of an open door policy that goes on here. And of course, it goes without saying that everybody's very diligent and passionate. And, and there's a great culture of innovation as well, which is super. As you've already mentioned, since you've been lecturing for almost 40 years, like 28 years at Arcadis, mm -hmm. you've recently told us. Yeah. Um, and we as stu uh, students have already experienced uh, your enjoying in lecturing firsthand. Could you tell us what is the overall appeal of dealing and lecturing young adults? Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm really glad that you can tell that I enjoy it. Um, and the thing that... that keeps me going, shall I say, is really motivated and energetic students at the Cardis. It's really great to see students, shall we say, at their point of entry into the professional world. And what I absolutely am amazed by is to see how these young people come from school who are already very good and become more professional and more motivated mm. and more confident as they go through. Mm. A life here. Probably for our study interests, could you briefly describe what each trimester having with you deals with? Okay. Well, we have six trimesters over two years. Three are written and three are spoken. Um, trimester one, we do academic writing. And actually, it doesn't matter where you are in the world in an English-speaking country, native speakers of English are learning how to write for academic purposes. So we start off doing that. And then we move on to presentations, which is, um, yeah, learning to give presentations, learning to give company profiles so that professional business vocabulary is improved. And um, then we move on to, to trimester three, which is discussion. We do work on correspondence, report writing. Yeah, there's a lot to do. As you've heard, guys, learn your vocabularies. <laughs> <laughs> But speaking of which, which trimester is your favorite? Oh, what can I say is my favorite? I, I, actually, I quite like trimester one because it's unbelievable to see the improvement, the turnaround in the quality of writing. And it's, but, but I think maybe in terms of fun and creativity and enthusiasm, I think it has to be trimester three, the mm -hmm. interaction between the students and the great ideas that the students come up with for their discussions and role plays and things. It's lots of fun. Yeah, we experienced that as well. Yeah. Uh, but speaking of, like, you've, you've described the trimesters and what they deal with, but what would you how would you describe your lecturing style? Like, give us three adjectives or something. 
Okay, um, well, my courses are very much resource-led. Um, I have to take the themes based on what's in the news because I use a lot of very authentic sources. And in terms of it being resource-led, um, it's, it's very difficult to get... I would say it's almost impossible to find a textbook that is challenging enough for our students at a Cardiff. So it's very much resource-led, it's very authentic, and I think the most important thing is that it is student-centred. It is, it is. Hands-on, learning by doing. That's great. That's, that's how it is, and we've experienced that. But um, coming further to our maybe study interested, mm -hmm. um, what piece of advice would you give someone who just started studying? Not necessarily at Akadis, but studying in general. Generally, yeah. Um, definitely get organized, attend regularly, and don't leave things to the last minute. I think it's very much to do with organization. It's a big change, but if you get organized, you're halfway to success, I mm. believe. Mm. And it's less stressful. Yeah, absolutely. What advice could you give students in your first year? Okay, participate. Definitely participate. That is absolutely essential for success in English. And I think use your time wisely as well. That's also very important. Whether you're inside the classroom or outside, use your time wisely. That doesn't mean studying 24 hours a day, but it does mean making sure you work hard and play hard, mm. I think. Mm. All right. As we are always supposed to collocate in your classes, could you collocate a Cardis for us? Okay. Well, I think there's great passion here. I think we are all extremely dedicated. I think we're all very diligent as well. And I think you can also say that a Cardis is extremely innovative as well, particularly over the last two years. Okay. Thank you very much so far, but there's one more thing I'd like to do with you. Okay. And these are our rapid fire questions. Okay. Here we go. Brief answers, one word. Okay. There you go. Coffee or tea? Tea. Manchester or Bad Homburg? Oh, Bad Homburg. Online or offline classes? Offline. Joggers or jeans? Jeans. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. <laughs> Travel or balcony? Travel. Harry Potter or Oliver Twist? Oliver Twist. Now for our friends, final question. Friends, Chandor or Joey? Joey. There we go. That's all. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking the time. You're it's been welcome. great. It's been a pleasure. It was a lot of fun. It was. You're very welcome. Thank you. So we'll see each other, I think, in our classes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow it is. Yeah. Thank online. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.